Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Asset Podcast on YouTube. Got Comic Magazine. Some is issue 114, April 1st issue of Amazing Heroes. Surprised it ain't their April Fool's issue. Got the Punisher on the cover. This is going to be, uh, what, 87 ish? Captain Neo, the ultimate comic experience. What took Eclipse under? Old back issue. Somebody circled all the ones I guess they wanted. A Justice League eulogy, because this is after they killed them off, and then they're bringing them back after Legends. Nice little Eclipse page. Fortune's Friends. Uh, it's a put up a Starblaze graphics. Uh, it's a Colleen Duran drawn, so you know it look nice at least. Open seas. I don't know shit about that. All right, we got Mike Grell getting ready to do uh, the Longbow Hunters. Uh, Dave Cockrum's coming over to uh, Batman. Burns doing part of the Superman Annual under the revamp and Secret Origins Annual, which is Doom Patrol. <clears throat> They're doing a Who's Who's Update 87. Teen Titan Spotlight, yeah. Warlord, yeah. Valkyrie! Valkyrie from uh, Eclipse. Black Book Blade. Here are comics. Here put out some neat stuff. Comico five year anniversary. Comico five year anniversary. Aerosol News Books. Air boy. Okay, we got Cone Distractions. Let's see. Ace, nothing. Amazing. Probably nothing. X Mutants graphic novel would be neat to have. Antarctic. Probably nothing. No. Blackthorn. No. Kamiko. Probably not. Um, Robotech would be cool. DC. That Batman annual because it's Alan Moore and Max Allen Collins. This Doctor Fate might be good. It's Jay and Dematteis and Keith Giffen, so you know I, I take a chance on it. Infinity Inc. Infinity Inc. Special, Amazing Man Special. Uh, no, definitely no. The question, of course, uh, Shazam probably. Oh fuck yeah, on the Spectre, Suicide Squad, yes. God, it was that long ago, huh? Swamp Thing, of course. Warlord, possibly Eclipse. I get Airboy. Miracle Man 12. Mr. Monsters High, Sh High Shock Schlock. Radio Boy sounds good. Listen to this. A sort of fake Japanese comic written in camera instructions English by Chuck Dixon, art by Dixon and Ingle. Plus King Big by Duxon, Flynn Henry, and Tom Lumlin. And Death Guy by Duxon, Henry, and Dixon, Henry, and Tim Trim. Dixon. Chuck Dixon. Trim Smith, I have. Zod, I've grabbed. Entertainment don't have shit up. Love and Rockets, probably for Fantagraphics, and that would be it. Maybe just prom cuts. First, I'd be grabbing American Flag. John Sable. There's no Grim Jackie, I don't think. Here, I got a dead face number one, but I would have grabbed it back up. Classic Conan, Classic X Men. Conan, DP7. Justice. Uh. Probably Marvel Fanfare. Marvel Saga, definitely. Uh, Marvel 2 Tales, yes. The Nom, yes. Yeah, still got a uh, Michael Golden on it. Punisher, probably. Starbrand, yeah. It's still decent at that time. X Men 219. Yeah. From Epic, nothing. From Trey Paper, Conan the Reaver. Star Comics and uh, Muppet Babies, Onward, Nothing, Renegade, Nothing, Slave Labor, Normal Man, the Novel, Solson, God, No, Nothing, Stop Dragon Note, Steel Dragon Note, Vortex, probably Yummy Fur. Nice Punisher article to talk to the creative team of uh, Stephen Grant, Mike Zach. Oh, no, 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 no. This is uh, Klaus Jansen and. Um, Mike Barron. I was trying to, I was like, who the fuck is that writer? I was like, let's take a Chuck Dixon. I don't know what Chuck Dixon And uh, Jansen talks about how he had some issues with uh, Frank Miller because the last issue of Dark Knight Returns, they'll probably never work with him again. That's kind of interesting. Tributed to Ian e. Nelson Bridwell. Infamous, you know, me and Kimosabi. Joke. And just different shit today. He was on the Ape, the Maniacs, who I don't remember. Secret Six, I forgot he did that. Super Friends, that was a good little comic, Shazam. This was just stupid. Will Jacobs and Gerard Jones. 
A7 door cost, it's just not good. It's got that Gerard Drum snake on it too, so. Interview with the Troll Lords Trio. Not a bad one. Pretty good. I like Troll Lords. Good art. This is early on in the run. Mage is getting reprinted in trades by the Starblaze Graphics. This person told me they had read Marvel forever, so they're going back and reading it. And let's see. I wouldn't have read that. I was reading Fantastic Four at the time. I don't remember it being worth the shit. That was X Men was getting the shit. Two sixteen getting the shit. New Mutants uh, fifty one. Yeah. X Factor fifteen. Yeah, that was kind of jank too. Avengers. Oh, that was horrible. Hulk. No. Yeah, there ain't much. Ain't nothing from up. This looks amazing. David Day and Dan Day. Shadows from the Grave. Look at that art. Esters. Oh, this is the okay. Amazing reader, Ken Penders. Is that the former Sonic guy? I'm wondering. He writes in a letter. Let me go through. I read it. It was okay. Philip Bentley, Jose Mendez, Richard Brewing, which I knew that. Oh, DC Comic House. I knew that name. Jerry Siegel, of course, writes in the letter. Nancy A. Collins from Jefferson, Louisiana. She wrote Swamp Thing towards the end of its run. And then Tia Maple, of course, I got a dog boy hat. Just a cool little issue of Amazing Heroes. Enough articles in here where I read the night. When first flipped there, I wanted to read like 75% of them. So that's a pretty good bad and average one. It's 250 still. I don't know how high this went. I think this went all the way into like, I want to say it existed. It ended around the time that Wizard became real big, so like 95. So it ran for a long time. I, don't, I wouldn't mind getting a complete run. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.